Welcome guys, it's the Axeman here and today we'll be going over 10 beginner tips you should know before starting Power World. These tips are based around the first couple hours of gameplay, so no spoilers for the end game stuff. So if you do enjoy this, if you find it helpful, make sure you whack a like, make sure you subscribe. And if there's any tips that I miss out, whack them down below in the comments section and let the community see them all. All right, kicking us off a really simple one. The workbench can be placed anywhere. So right at the start, you'll get the tutorial. It will tell you to place your workbench and then build a base. What I would recommend, do your workbench, get some tools, get some uh, power spheres, go and explore the map a little bit. Once you're comfortable, you found a nice flat spot where you want your base, you can then build a second workbench there. You can then build uh, your base on that. I've seen far too many people build their base in the workbench right up at the top. There's not really much room. So uh, yeah, build your workbench, go and explore, then set a base up. Next up, I would recommend catching every power you see. If you've got spare power spheres, then I'd recommend just catching all of you see, especially early on. They give you great XP. You'll also be able to pick which power you want to use in your base because you'll have different skills. And then later on in the game, you can actually sell, breed, and merge pals. So the more you have, the more you're going to be able to play around with later on. Once you've found a nice spot for your base, I would recommend leveling your base up a few levels before you go venturing off and exploring too far. The reason for this is you'll get more power slots, meaning more pals, meaning more work they can do. So when you are actually ready to go and head out, there's work going on behind closed doors. Another base focus tip is placing two to three farms. This is more than enough that you won't have to worry about your pals going hungry. Also, you get a bunch of spare berries which you can eat or you can actually cook and you will never ever run out of food for yourself or your pals. If you ever hear a sparkling sound, it means there's a lucky pal close by. These are pretty much shinies or alpha variants of the pals. I would highly recommend hunting these down and either catching them, or if you don't like the look of it, if you've already got a couple, kill them, because they do give you a nice bit of XP and they can drop some half decent loot every now and then. This next tip is going to save you a bunch of time, and that is placing storage boxes next to the lumber and the stone mills, because... The base has a pull system, but it only pulls from storage boxes. It doesn't actually pull from the wood mills and the stone mills. And obviously, the wood and the stone mills can produce up to a thousand of the wood or the stone. You won't be able to carry all that. So I recommend placing a little box just next to it. Go up to it, take all the wood, and then just literally turn, put it in your box. There you go. Whenever you're trying to craft something, it will just pull wood from there, and you don't have to carry it all and be very, very heavy. So next, we're going to focus on your pals passive skills. You need to be checking these before you put them to work because some do actually have negative effects, such as laziness, which means they won't actually do as much work. They'll take more naps. So because you followed the earlier tips where you're taming all the pals, you should have a range of different pals with different skills. You'll have ones that work harder, ones that don't work harder. So you want to pick and choose between them, which ones you want actually working and producing wood or doing the farming and stuff. So just make sure you're checking them out before you throw them out on your farm your base your ranch whatever it is so this one might not apply to everyone but if you have kept your world settings as default then it will and that is don't be afraid to try the boss fights the boss fights that you have to teleport to actually get to if you fight them and you lose you won't lose all your stuff forever like other games you can actually go back there your bag will be outside the teleport there'll be a big beam you'll be able to collect all your stuff again and yeah you can try again or go home you know you'll be able to see what level leveling up you need what new powers you need but uh, yeah don't worry about losing your stuff Another boss themed tip here is you can farm the mini bosses. The mini bosses I like to call them are the ones on the map where you can see their little faces in a circle. You can farm these. The reason you want to farm these, number one, especially if you're starting out, it's a great way to learn how to fight these big, stronger dudes because you need to learn how to avoid attacking, when to attack, when to throw your pals out, when to switch them out and stuff. But also, they do give a lot of great XP, especially the lower level ones early on in game. And you can get some decent loot from them as well. So yeah, I'd recommend just playing around with these, learning how to do all the combat and leveling up. And last but certainly not least is don't be afraid to go out at night. There are actually some really rare and cool monsters that only appear at night time. To venture out at night time, just make sure you've made yourself some clothing so you don't get cold. Bring yourself a, a light source like a torch and you're good to go. Venture around a bit. Like I said, there are some cool dudes out there, a couple really rare ones as well, and you don't want to miss out. 
There we go then. So that is my 10 beginner tips before you start playing Power World. Let me know if that was helpful at all. Uh, make sure you whack a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for all the good stuff as well. But if there are any that I did miss or ones that, you know, you thought of, make sure you are whacking them in the comment. Let the whole community see them. We can all grow and learn stuff together. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for hanging out and I will catch you all in a bit. See you later.